Meg's career ends as the course forces her to compensate $70 million for Spotify Archwell staff in turn leaving. Meghan Markle Podcast Archetypes is a fail. For the past three months, Meghan Markle has expanded her already long list of titles actress, duchess, and activist by sitting behind the microphone as a host of the Archetypes Podcast. The project aims to investigate, dissect, and subvert the labels that try to hold women back, featuring mostly other women as guests, including Serena Williams, Mariah Carey, Paris Hilton, Constance Wu, and Mindy Culling. Meghan Markle's podcast was off to a good start. However, the run has been good, but very short for Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle's archetype podcast is not as popular as it was when it launched. The service are controversial claims that the compulsive lies had an effect on the public. As it seems like people are already tired of hearing a serial moaning and complaining of the Duchess. That is why the latest episode of the controversial podcast ranks below a collection of baby lullabies. Back in September, there were rumors that Spotify fabricated the success of the Archetypes podcast. In other words, that would mean that Spotify put Meghan Markle in first place in order to attract as much audience as possible. It was their way of putting the podcast on the stand where more people would see it. And the rumors were that Spotify does that in order to raise the popularity of the podcast so they can justify the money that they spent on it. And it is possible that the episodes had failed to attract listeners because it was dull, just like how royal biographer Angela Levin had described it. Levin also said that Markle just presented herself as a victim in all of the episodes of Archetypes, and this did not work in her favour. Megan seems to want to put everything about her in each of the podcasts, so it is actually quite dull. If you listen to several of them as I have, you hear the same thing that she is a victim, she is a victim, and she is a victim, for so many different reasons. It is the same thing about Megan's truth, which is not necessarily the truth. Levin had said. Recently, a source had closest Spotify staff revealed that Archwell Company could be compensated in a sizable amount of the money because Megan has breached some important clause in her contract with Netflix. The platform also endured significant losses when Megan's podcast was boycotted. It comes as Archwell employees in turn resigned. And while the future of archetypes is still up in the air, it has been revealed that the show's head of audio Rebecca Sanias has left. Rebecca worked at the Archetypes for a year and a half. Moreover, the boss of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's organization, Archwell, also stepped down just a few days before the Sussex's bombshell Netflix documentary is released. As it is understood that the couple will take on full leadership of the company, with a statement saying that Diani's exit was a part of transition into Harry and Meghan heading up to Archwell. The Yanni, of Iranian origin, was considered the right-hand woman of the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex. As at Archwell, she was in charge of overseeing the day-to-day -day operation, but she lasted in the position for only 18 months. And for now, Meghan has a lot to be getting on with, as it is currently in the midst of promoting her upcoming Netflix documentary alongside Prince Harry. The first trailer was released last week, and the second promo for it dropped on Monday. The second trailer saw the Duke accuse the palace of planting stories, and the Duchess claims the royal family did not protect her. The teasers for the six-part docuseries have included intimate behind-the-scenes photos from Harry and Meghan's life, including from the early days of their courtship, as well as the images of the Duchess cradling her baby bump while pregnant with daughter Lilibet.
as it is currently in the midst of promoting her upcoming Netflix documentary alongside Prince Harry. The first trailer was released last week, and the second promo for it dropped on Monday. The second trailer saw the Duke accuse the palace of planting stories, and the Duchess claims the royal family did not protect her. The teasers for the six-part docuseries have included intimate behind-the-scenes photos from Harry and Meghan's life, including from the early days of their courtship, as well as the images of the Duchess cradling her baby bump while pregnant with daughter Lilibet. 